Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm Calvin Johnson, and uh, I've done some shows here. This is a groovy space. I'm really digging it. I like its purity. <laughs> And uh, doing the shows with Arlt. See, I didn't know their name was Arlt. I thought their name was A R L T. <laughs> you know, M D C. And uh, just all those other hardcore bands um, that are just like initials and stuff. And I didn't think, well, how could they be Arlt? Because whenever I'm on, see now, I'm from the United States of America. And we have a very grand tradition in the United States of ignoring all the other languages in the world. <laughs> so, I have, I have been, uh, you know, I have been within that tradition, I've been honoring that tradition, and, uh, and, and avoiding any trace of bilinguality. Uh, but, you know, I thought maybe, you know, I'm, we have this other saying in the United States, when in Rome, do as the Romans do. See? So I thought, well, I'm in Paris, France, I think I'll learn some French. So I've noticed, now there's a, there's a very common thing, um, I don't know if you guys have this here, but on TV or something, in movies and stuff, whenever like some Americans, they go to some other country, and everyone's speaking English, and they're like, wow, how did you get, how did you learn such good English? <laughs> and then the person goes, oh, well I have watched many American television shows, and I have learned the English from your television shows. Or, you know, I listen to the radio, and I hear your English on the radio, and I have learned my, your English. So that is, that, oh, that's in every, Every time some American goes overseas, they run into somebody who speaks English, and there couldn't possibly be a culture where they learn English. You know, it's more that they were, they were, the media has bombarded them, you see, which may be true, but, but I have a different theory. See, I think that the difference, now I'm getting off the subject here, but <laughs> humor me, uh, the difference is that in places like France, um, Spain, everyone takes it for granted that you will learn more than one language. And everyone does it. And so you just, you just assume you're going to because everyone else is doing it and it's fun. Whereas in my country, you're like, oh man, I don't want to have to learn Spanish. You mean I have to take two years of a foreign language just to graduate? What a bummer. All right. Sit in the desk. Uno, dos, trace. Are we done yet? You know. Anyway, I forget what I was talking about. Um, oh yeah. So I decided I'm going to learn some French, and I thought, you know, since I don't, I didn't bring a radio or a TV set, um, but there is there is one option open for me without the TV or the radio, when I'm riding on the subway, the man says, <laughs> and I go, <laughs> and I look up on the thing and it, and it says, I'm like, oh, that's pronounced <laughs> Interesting. So whenever time they say the name of the station, I like look at it and I go, oh, that's Shambonbonbon. <laughs> so I practice my pronunciation and I look at what the words look like and I go, whoa, those look really different than I thought they'd sound like. <laughs> so, so because I know so much French now from riding in the subway, one of the things I learned is that when there's a T at the end of the word, you don't say it. <laughs> so that's why I thought, there's no way this van could be called Arlt. <laughs> no, 
it must be I <laughs> So that is just my excuse for not knowing the name of their band. And I thought it was ARLT. <laughs> Standing for, you know, like, you know, TSOL, you've heard of them, right? They're, they're an American band. At one point their name was, see the problem is, people, the problem is, once you start on this whole, you know, thing with having your initials, Everyone just has so much fun with it that you can't really, you know, that. so they, TSOL, they were Two Sounds of Liberty. It's like, oh yeah, that's a great name, Two Sounds of Liberty. <laughs> but it's kind of long, so everyone shorts it, TSOL. And then once it was TSOL, everyone was like, TSOL, what's that stand for? <laughs> oh, Tupperware, <laughs> such old ladies. <laughs> like, oh, that's a weird name for a band. <laughs> yeah, no, that's what it is. And so, so that's what happens with every band that has initials. They turn into like something else. So I'm glad to find out that Arlt will always be Arlt. <laughs> so, you know, everyone else is like, Arlt, what's that stand for? All real ladies tired? Oh. <laughs> um, Okay, so, I'm Calvin, and it's just Calvin. <laughs> Doesn't stand for anything other than Calvin, although sometimes I have been known as Niblack. Which is Calvin spelled backwards. <laughs> Some people call me Niblack. <laughs> and other people are like, so like hey Niblack! And other people are like, where is it? Well, I'm like, that, that's me, I'm Niblack. I'm Niblack. You're Niblack, I thought you are Calvin. Well, Nibelak is Calvin's father. Like, that's dumb. <laughs> so, anyway, <laughs> on that note, I think I'll play some more songs. Oh. <laughs>